Salmonellosis is an enteric disease caused by the bacterium Salmonella, of which there are many types. This bacteria is found in the gastrointestinal tract of warm and cold-blooded animals and is shed in the feces. Salmonella bacteria can be found worldwide, but seems to be most common where intensive animal husbandry is practiced. Wild animals can also serve as a reservoir for salmonella. Salmonellosis is zoonotic and is usually transmitted to humans by eating foods contaminated with small amounts of feces. However, people can also become infected through close contact with livestock and other animals that can pass salmonella in their feces. This means that veterinarians, farmers, and others who are in close contact with animals as part of their occupation or recreation may be at greater risk of being exposed to salmonella in this way. Salmonella are readily spread through food and water contaminated with feces from an animal or person shedding the organism. Handling animals with diarrhea without appropriate sanitary and disinfection procedures increases the risk of acquiring salmonellosis. In addition, some animals can be reservoirs of salmonella and can shed the bacteria in their feces without showing any clinical signs of disease. Various types of salmonella have been found in many species of animals. All species seem to be susceptible to salmonellosis under the right conditions, but clinical disease is more common in some animals than others. For instance, clinical cases are more common in cattle, pigs, and horses, but are relatively uncommon in cats and dogs. For example, clinical disease with salmonella including sudden onset of high fever, depression, anorexia, and death, even before signs of diarrhea develop, is common in dairy calves and salmonella is the most frequently diagnosed infectious cause of diarrhea in horses. Animals that recover may continue to shed bacteria in their feces for variable lengths of time. Diarrhea in animals may also be caused by other bacteria and viruses. Salmonellosis is more commonly seen in older pigs, not ones that are one to three weeks old and are still suckling the sow. When pigs become ill with salmonellosis, they develop a fever, have a decreased appetite, and may stop eating altogether. They usually develop diarrhea and when combined with dehydration, loss of electrolytes, and infection throughout the body, they can eventually die. In addition, it is not uncommon for pigs to become infected with salmonella and not show any clinical signs. We call these animals asymptomatic carriers or reservoirs of the infection, which can be important transmitters of the disease. The incubation period in pigs can be highly variable, but is usually one to five days. Often the clinical signs of disease do not appear in the animal until it is stressed. There are many stressors that a pig can experience. Examples of stressors for pigs are extreme heat, extreme cold, and weaning from the sow. Most people infected with salmonella develop diarrhea, fever, and abdominal cramps 12 to 72 hours after they are exposed to the bacteria. The illness usually lasts four to seven days and most people recover without treatment. However, in some, the diarrhea may be so severe that the patient needs to be hospitalized. Illness is likely to be more severe in children under five years of age, older adults, and people with weak immune systems. It's important to remember that if you develop symptoms that could be due to a zoonotic disease, you tell your doctor about any animal contact you have had since this might be helpful in figuring out the cause of your illness.